Hello everyone, Georgia Chia is here. Today we're going to go through how to set up the Windows 10 victim system so that we can see what artifacts and indicators of compromise each command and control payload and post modules leave behind. We're at the howto.thec2matrix.com and we click here on the left side C2 Matrix Eval Lab. We already went through setting up VMware Workstation with PFSense and the three LAN segments. So now we're looking at the Windows Victim. There's two main things that we run on the Windows Victim to have a better understanding of how each command and control payload works. One is Wireshark, where we can see the network traffic, and the other one is Sysmon for endpoint detection. So you're going to go into your virtual machine and download Wireshark. Once you install Wireshark, you can start it. We're going to start typing out Wireshark. You're going to listen on Ethernet 0. From here, we can add filters. We will do IP.ADDR equals equals, and then the IP of our attacking machine, in this case 115, and we hit enter. We can wait there. The next thing is to download Sysmon link is right here for Sysmon. You're going to download that and you're also going to download the Sysmon config from Swift on security. And you're going to extract all of that into C tools. And then you can just copy and paste and get that running. So we'll go over here to our Windows 10 system, start a command prompt with administrator privileges. We go to our C tools directory and then we run Sysmon. To view Sysmon, you go into Event Viewer and you go down Application and Services Log, then Microsoft, then Windows, scroll all the way down to Sysmon, and then go into Operational. And then you can see everything that's being ran there. So that is the setup for our Windows 10 victim. The step-by-step -step guide is on howto.thec2matrix.com. And then there's an additional reading uh, for Black Hills Information Security post about getting started with Sysmon. Hope you enjoy.